Welcome to this video. This video explains how to pick cells and faces in Python scripting in an Abacus environment. We previously created a Python script to construct unidirectional fiber composites. We can see this code and its result is this part. Now we continue in the module of property. We define fiber property, elastic property of the fiber. We enter Young modulus and Poisson ratio. Then create a section for fiber. The name is fiber and continue. And then assign this property to the fiber cell. In the next step, we create material for matrix. The name and then elastic properties of the matrix. This value is desirable and we can change it in our code. And then create a section for matrix. Solid and homogeneous and then choosing matrix property and then assign to the matrix. Now we go to our scripting and open the abacus.rpy file to find related commands. Then copy the new commands. We can find a line related to running the script and from then the lines are new and we can copy them to our code. This is our code from previous video and I add these lines to it. This part related to property and then copy the lines. As previously said, we can delete lines which start with session. Then these lines related to defining the material for fiber, we can change this value to parameter parameters or keep them. For example, we can use two parameters for modulus and Poisson ratio in the beginning of our code. This line is related to defining material for fiber, creating section, and then assigning section to the fiber. We can delete all repeated lines. There is two lines here that pick the cell of fiber to assign the material to it. The first line put all the cells of part composites to parameter C and the next line pick the cell related to the fiber by this number sharp and 1. Using this number is hard and I will introduce another way to pick the cell. We can use find that command that pick a cell in a, a special point. If a special point located in the cell, this cell will pick. As you can see in the picture, a point by the position of W divided by 2 and H divided by 2 and depth divided by 2 is in the center of the fiber cell. Then we put this cell to in C1 parameters and then we find index of this parameter. Now we have index of the cell related to the fiber and can use this index to pick the cell. We use this command 
c by index q now the cell of the fiber is in cells and we can delete the previous line which was hard to understand this three line that we added can pick the cell by a position and I will put this line in description of the video also we can use these lines for matrix and picking matrix in the matrix also we have lines that pick the cell this line and it's hard to understand and we replace this line by these three lines just we should change the position of the point as you can see in the picture we can use a point in the corner of the matrix with the coordinates 0 0 and DE divided by 2 and then pick the cell of the matrix now the property part of our code is complete and we have a part for fiber creating material picking the cell and assigning the material and another part for matrix the code is complete until now and we use find that to pick the cell we can check another time the code by running it in RFS environment. We can see that the material is assigned to each part for fiber and for matrix. Therefore, our find that commands work well. Then we can see assembly module that was complete in our previous video and now in step module we create a step for analyzing the tensile of the composite as much as more changes we do in this window we will have a more complete command for creating a step in our script therefore I will change these default values and then click OK and we can go to our script and find the command related to creating step this is the command it's three lines i copy them and add them to our script by the name of a step we add them to our file we can see that different changes that we have done in the Abacus environment we have more complete command here for time period maximum number of increment initial increment minimum increment maximum increment we have all of them now we can run the file another time and check that this step is created correctly you can see the step here now in the next step we want to request an output related to reaction forces on the front faces of the unit cell to compute the reaction forces related to tension of the unit cell we should pick these two faces we define them as a set and then use history output request and create a history output by name force and then choose the set and pick the reaction force now we can go to our code and copy the lines related to requesting a history output and paste them to our code we paste these lines and 
you can see another time for picking faces we have this hard command uh, sharp 81 number that's not easy for us to understand and change it and we can use another time find out for other ways to pick these two faces I delete this line and uh, I want to pick these faces in another way in this time I use another command get by bounding box by this command we can pick everything that is located inside a box I only enter the limit of this box to end of this box we should define this box in a way that it includes all of our desired face but does not include any other face in this command at first we enter the start of x y and z and then the end of x and y and z and we replaced one line by one line and we picked the faces by this command and we have reaction forces on these two faces now we can check another time our code and run it in our case environment we can check the step module for history output or we can check the created set because the history output is related to set we can see that these two faces were picked correctly and the command get by bounding box work very easy and the result is correct thank you guys for watching this video if this video was helpful, please let us know by a like or subscription.